Winston Churchill once said that history is written by the victors. But us YouTubers, we're not writing history, we're broadcasting it worldwide at the speed of light. A very rare Apple One computer recently sold at auction for nearly half a million dollars. But here is an original 1938 cigarette card featuring one of the first modern computers ever. I thought I'd do a video on to do with uh, computers since if they hadn't been invented YouTube probably wouldn't even exist. The computers in the early days certainly weren't small, they were huge like the one featured on this 1930s cigarette cat. Of course even cards like these have origins dating back to the original information revolution, Gutenberg's printing press. But first Let's take a look at what is considered to be the granddaddy of computers, dating back more than 2,000 years to ancient Greece. The Antiki Thera uh, mechanism is considered by some to be the first analogue computer. We had to wait another 1,800 years before the father of uh, computing was born. Charles Babbage is said to have invented the concept of the programmable computer way back in 1837 in Great Britain. It was designed to use punch cards inspired by Joseph Jacquard's programmable loom of 1801. Unfortunately, Babbage's analytical engine was not, caught, uh, was not taken seriously at the time and he did not complete it in his lifetime. Just think, if he had finished it, it could have in initiated the information revolution more than 100 years before it actually happened. And that leads me on neatly to this original 1938 cigarette card that's over 70 years old. It features one of the first fully functioning advanced computer devices at the renowned Massachusetts Institute of Technology in America. The legendary Claude Shannon, uh, considered to be the father of information theory itself, works on this analogue computer early on in, in his career. And talking about information... Not everyone is into technology. Not everyone is into reading books. And not everyone is even into calculating. But there's something we're all into, something that's in each one of these and in us too, information. Because without information in our DNA, we wouldn't even exist. A long time ago, our cavemen ancestors started something revolutionary when they painted information on their cave walls. But Gutenberg's printing press spread human ideas and knowledge virally to millions of people across the planet. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but a YouTube video is worth a thousand pictures. And now we have the power of radio and the cinema and the television in the palm of our hands. Welcome to the real information revolution that trumps the rest. Oh no, I'm afraid we've run out of time, but just before you go, please leave comments up below, and if you'd like to see more amazing video clips like this, subscribe to the track, by clicking on the icon, up in the sky, a Creole Cards TV.